Hi, how are y'all doing? So started off, so I have my overnight high here, overnight lows here. It's pretty easy to find today. We start out, and I, this channel here, it doesn't confirm. It only has two bounces, but it's clearly a move up with a two-legged break. You can still trade off of it. And so the uptrend with this two-legged break, and we immediately rush above the EMA. So it's not to the tick because it went past it here. It went past the measured move a little bit, but as soon as it reached it, it rushed above the EMA, it gave a higher low. I liked it. I wanted to get out at these lows. I didn't want to push it through it too much. So I just got out before it. I didn't want to go full one to two. But um, but yeah, that's a pretty good trade. And because it's right after a perfect measured move, two-legged break of that uptrend, and then just the higher low fading the range, you know, and it's with the bias. So I did like that. And we push higher. And we eventually reached the overnight highs again. I didn't find a good trade off of it, but we do bounce off of it. This uptrend gets a break, and so now you can look at these two legs up here. And I'll draw them out here. And it almost reached that measured move before turning down, and it eventually looks like it did. Almost. It almost reached it there at the end. So it didn't quite reach it, but. But yeah, so that's, that's the first trade. I like that trade. And we push higher. Now, you get this first entry long, second entry long, but it's really just, there's a couple things I don't like about it, and there's a reason I did not take this. And it's because it's, it's just one leg, and it's rushing below the EMA right after coming off the overnight high. So these two legs up, when this trend here gets a break, it technically doesn't have to make a new high. And so when it comes right off the overnight high and then just rushes below the EMA, I would be afraid of taking a long, especially when it's just one leg down. I see that there's a first entry long, second entry long, but that's just, that's not significant enough for me. So I don't think there's a good long there, to be honest. Um, just not, just a little bit risky. And, um, you know, even if you want to take it as like a range fade it's it's like still you can't you, you still can't you'd still expect a new low it's just one leg coming off the overnight so i don't think it's good to take that but um eventually this does start to extend and get bigger it breaks instantly there we finally get something off the ema when that with that break but there's no good signal bars it's and then by the time you do get a good signal bar it's getting so high up already and you know it's just not perfect so I didn't like any of that, but um, we started going into this bigger trend, which didn't really hold. But this trade here, so we got this uptrend eventually does break. So we got these two legs up now. It almost reached the measured move. So we have two legs up, break out of the overnights. And then we just have two legs down and then two legs back up. And so it's, it forms a range, but you can still clearly see the first leg down, second leg down, followed by a two-legged reversal going back higher and it's a breakout of the range I just formed so the two legs down we form this range we get two legs back up we get a breakout most breakouts fail you know we're near a measured move off those range highs clear breakout there's room there's no short-term trend line to me that looks good it's two legs up looks pretty good to me so that's why I liked it yeah, anyway, so we push lower. Now, about this, uh, I wanted to talk about this trade right here because it it looks decent in some ways, but, you know, it's not. It doesn't get to the EMA. It's a f failed second entry. First entry long, second entry long, failure. Um, you know, it, it didn't reach the lows here, and then it's like it, it didn't reach the lows, and then it also couldn't break through the line to reach the EMA, so I really don't think there's anything particularly great here. Um, it is a failed second entry, you know, fading the overnight technically has some... I, I don't think that this is a super high probability because, like I said, it's just, it's already got two legs out and it couldn't, it couldn't push low enough to even reach here. It just bounced early and that's bullish momentum. And now you might say, yeah, but it didn't break out. But if it doesn't, if it doesn't break out, then I, I really have no reason for it to to go lower it would be I would basically just bet on this short not working so but yeah um, we couldn't reach the lows and then we couldn't make an equal breakout I don't like it but yeah it did work out pretty well so 
we push lower, we have this downtrend now, we overshoot, and I almost took a loss here because I, I was about to go for some big target, but I ended up not even taking anything. Because um, I, I drew this, which kept me out of it, basically. And, you know, maybe I could have gone one to one, but, you know, it really wasn't off of anything. It would have just been a, it would have just been an overshoot buy, which really isn't that good. So I'm glad I stayed out of that. But we push into this downtrend here, and it also formed this range breakout. Most breakouts fail, and then after we pushed higher here, I, I drew this to uptrend here, and then it fit off the highs pretty well. And so after we push up, you can see we get this reversal pattern, uptrend, and then you can see two-legged break. It's very small, but that's a reversal pattern right there. There's obviously no way you can enter into it because it's right in the middle of this range. It's closing all the way up here. No way that you can enter it, but we do start to get this uptrend off of it. There's nothing particular great, just a bunch of first entries, and we go higher. We get back to the overnight high, so at this point, we could be getting a bullish imbalance in the overnight range. So you have the overnight range holding with this uptrend. It could end up being a bullish imbalance. Oh, whoops. So, um, hold on. Well, let, me, let me take my jacket off. Oh, it's getting hot. All right. So, yeah, then it comes to this loss over here. So, yeah, um... Yeah, it doesn't really make any sense to go short here. Um, but basically, all this is is uptrend break, one attempt at a new high, and then it didn't even reach any resistance level. It just stopped early. So that's not good. I should have waited on the second attempt. And then as first attempt, break, second attempt. As soon, if I would have just waited for the second attempt, I would have gotten out um, with a good trade. Assuming I didn't push the target too far. But if I just waited a little bit, I would have been fine. But um, but yeah, the first attempt higher for this uptrend, uptrend break, first attempt higher, not off of any resistance even. It's like that's a horrible trade, and it's a really bad short. And I should have at least just waited for something else. Ideally, I would you'd wait for you know if you want to go for big one to two, you'd wait on the two bigger legs. So. You see how this first leg higher, so uptrend, break, first leg higher, it's made up of two legs. And then on a bigger picture, you get two bigger legs. And so that right there is not two legs to a new high. It's not first leg to a new high, second leg. Those two legs make the first leg, and then you get the second leg of equal size, so or of almost equal size. So, And then I like this trade. I saw other people took this trade in the site. It's a really good looking trade. And I basically just wanted to complete this measured move here. And we already got a breakout pullback of the overnight high. We have this bullish imbalance forming because we have this uptrend in play and it's fitting off the highs really well. And breakout pullback with two legs. Trend line is holding, the range, upper range line is holding, EMA is holding. That looks really good. And then just ride it to the end of the measured move. And yeah, so I liked one to two. Um, yeah, and then we're get, that's all that's all the trades for today. We reach the measured move, we go past it, we rush back below, rush back above the EMA, rush back below. It's kind of just choppy. I don't see any particularly good trades in here. Um, we start pushing lower, shallow corrections. We can't take any of this. This right here, um, you know, if if you could have gotten this line early, then I th think that would be good to take. I didn't I didn't get it that fast. I drew it straight off of that, off the highs. But um, if you had gotten it, I think it would probably be fine as long as you get out before this trend line. Because we could still fade. It might end up not being a valid channel, and then it ends up breaking. So, you know. It's still okay to go short. You just need room. And uh, we break out. We have these couple legs up, and that's it for the day. We could end up... It looks like we might continue with this up, try and get some kind of reversal pattern, like a first entry short, second entry short, failure maybe. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it, and yeah, I'll see you all next time.